In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a Discord guild. There's no BS in this video. I'm just getting straight into it because there's a lot of false tutorials that don't actually show you how to do it. But in this video, I will. But important to note, make sure your Discord is up to date. Otherwise, you may not have this feature and it is currently not out to everyone. So just make sure your Discord's up to date. But the first thing you do is you go to your server. You have to be mod or your server. You'll be the owner and you go to server settings like so, where you go down to the option that is actually called guild settings. Now we're setting up the guild right now. So you actually just want to select the games you want to play, whether it be Apex Legends, Valorant, etc. Once you've done that, you can actually select any playables, whether this is a casual guild, competitive, or just very casual, you can actually choose. And once you've done that, you just want to select traits. Now, traits are basically tags, the kind of server that this is, whether it's for beginners friendly, whether this is a competitive server or not, or it can just be like a super chill server. Once you've done that, you can actually just choose what you want to talk about in this guild. Now, these are basically topics like like bullet points whether you just want to talk about gaming or like general or like anything else along that line and as you can see when we click on write description this is basically a description for our guild now this is the first thing people will see when they're considering joining our guild now for mine i have put must love cake for example that can be yours or you must love valorant that could be one and you can just add like an up to 146 character description and that is basically a description for the first thing people will see when they join your guild now now, guild badges, what they do is it's basically just a cover, a guild tag for people's characters' names, like server roles on Discord. Now, when you actually choose one, you, I recommend just choosing whatever one looks the coolest, or they could actually have meaning, different colors have different meanings, just like server roles. And finally, we've got guild profile. Now, guild profile is, it's actually more like server roles, where you can actually choose badges and actually just show what people's rank is in this server, whether it be a god, a okay person, or just a casual player on this guild server. Now, when you've done that, you can actually just go to the join application option and you can actually add as many questions as you want. For example, I've done, do you like cake? And maybe they have to say yes to this question or it can just be a completely loose ended question that they have to answer to actually join this server. And you can do as many questions as you want, but it's basically just a general guideline for when it comes to people joining the server. And you as the server owner or whoever is a server owner can review it to see if you want them to actually be part of your guild based on their server application and their answers to the questions and as you can see when i exit out just saving my work you can actually just see my guild profile right here and you can invite people to this guild just easy as that if you found this video helpful leave a like down below i spent a lot of time trying to figure this out share this with a friend who also needs to learn about guilds and how to set one up